Good morning and happy Tuesday. Another day, another dollar. Um, so I wanted to get on here real quick and talk about some stuff that um, happened yesterday and I was going through. Um, so my daughter came by. Um, we had a talk. She's been going through some stuff and, and it brought up a lot of emotions for me. I know it's not all about me, but I'm not going to put my daughter's stuff here on blast, so I'm going to just keep it on me. Um, it brought up a lot of feelings for me about my poor choices as a mom with her growing up. And I, and I didn't make all bad choices, a lot of them were good, but there was a lot of, there was a lot of, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that I did that um, really, really poor choices and poor decisions. And she's coming to a crossroads for herself and feeling these, you know, evaluating her life. And um, and every once in a while, I get a smack in the face, you know. I get a smack in the face of reality. Like, um, she's hurting. And a lot of the reasons why she's hurting is because of me. Now that's her shit, that's her process, she's gonna have to deal with it. Just like I had to deal with the shit that I had to endure at my parents, not to say that they were bad parents or anything, but they're human, they made some bad decisions. Um, but what I wanted to reflect on and talk about was this: these feelings that come up for me about the poor choices that I made, I can really, very easily get stuck in. I can very easily get depressed and thinking um, what a horrible mother I am, right? Um, I can get in, in stuck in the um, pity pot, right? Um, I can get stuck in, um, you know, if I, sh I shoulda, coulda, wouldas, right? If I did this, I shoulda done this, I, I shoulda done that, um, what ifs. I can get myself sucked into that so quick, so fast, and I battled with it last night when I was trying to sleep, and a lot of the stuff that, you know, we saw it through our day in our dreams, and it kept reoccurring, and I kept waking up, and I kept having to remind myself I'm not there today. Like, it really sucks. It does hurt. I have to acknowledge the fact that it does hurt that I hurt my daughter. Um, but I have to also say, I can't stay stuck here. It's not going to do anybody any good. Not myself, not my daughter, if I go down that rabbit hole. Because I've done that before. And... Usually only one or two things happens, or it could be a couple of things, but usually one or two ha happens if I allow myself to get really sucked into that rabbit hole, is I can go into a deep depression, which can also bring me to suicide ideation, or it can cause me to want to drink because it'll get so intense, so overwhelming, that the only way for me to get any relief is to drown my sorrows away, numb it. Um, and I want to equate this to a physical pain that I also endure. So I have back issues, right? I have uh, lower back um, herniated discs, and well, they're not constantly her herniated, but they get inflamed and they they can really hurt. I know this. I can't. I, there might be surgeries out there, but I, I can't go back in time and prevent that injury from happening. Right? I can't stop the injury from happening necessarily. I can probably reduce its occurrence, right? But one of the things that I noticed is if I feel a little bit of tightness in my lower back, if I feel, I can feel like it coming on, the onsets, and if I take care of it right away, if I do some stretches, and if the stretches don't work, maybe taking some ibuprofen, because that can help too, right? Uh, 
putting a heated pad at it, a heating pad on it. If I do some of these things, I can prevent it from becoming a full-blown inflammation, full-blown like I can't walk because that's what's happened to me before. It's gotten so bad where I can't even walk. Um, when I get to that point, when I get to that full-blown point where I can't walk, heating pads don't help. Ibuprofen doesn't do shit. Like I need a Percocet. Um, and because I'm an addict, I don't want to, I don't want it to get to that point because I don't want to have to take Percocets because I don't want to jeopardize my sobriety. Not to saying taking a Percocet will, will, you know, ruin my sobriety, but it could if I like the feeling or if I take it too often or, or not take it as prescribed, all that stuff, you know. Anyway, um, so what I've recognized with that pain, that physical pain, is that when I'm feeling it coming on, that's when I need to take care of it. I can't wait until see if it goes away on its own and then take care of it if it gets really bad because that's not what I want to do, right? I don't want it to get that bad and I don't want to have to revert to um, those powerful painkillers which could jeopardize my sobriety. So I equate this to emotional pain. I can't stop these feelings from happening, right? I, I'm acknowledging, right? Just like I am acknowledging I have back pain. I'm acknowledging that this shit hurts, right? I have some emotional pain. This shit hurts. Do I want to ignore it and hope it goes away or just like, you know, um, stuff it or, you know, um, if it gets really bad, then I'll do something about it or... Do I want to do little incremental things now, little things that will help? It will help lessen it. It's not going to numb it. It's not going to make it go away. It's just going to help make it tolerable until it passes. And so this is what I've learned to do. I've found little ways to help me tolerate it until it passes. One of the things that I teach in my courses and more specifically with my coaching, with my one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, because my, my online courses is for a generalized broad topic or generalized broad audience, not, not broad audience, but it's, it's a little bit more uh, open, right? When I'm working with someone one-on-one, -on -one, I'm working on their specific goals, their specific uh, pain points, their specific problems that they're trying to, um, you know, to uh, alleviate or manage. Um, and some of the, the tools that I've utilized with them is exactly that, right? When we are in a lot of pain or when we're feeling pain come on, that's when we need to act. That's what we need to do to, to prevent it from becoming this full-blown thing. It's, it, helps, it helps me immensely. Um, I utilize them as best I can. Sometimes it takes me a little bit longer to utilize them. Sometimes I need to sit in my stuff <laughs> a little bit too long, like I did the other day, right? I, I, I sat in my pity pot for almost 24 hours, um, which is long for me. I don't usually sit there in my stuff that long. Um, but I've learned the tools to do that. And I would love if I could teach other women, or other people in general, but other women who suffer like I do or suffer like I did, um, I would like to help you learn those tools. I would like to help motivate you and cheer you on and keep you accountable and, you know, help you to just... Um, it's, it's one thing to just learn the skills. It's another thing to get in the habit of practicing and utilizing them when you need them. That's, that's a different story. And that's where my coaching um, really comes in. It's not just teaching you skills. It's helping you to implement them in everyday life and maintain it, sustain it, right? Um, what good is a diet if, you know, you lose the weight, but then you can't sustain the diet and you end up getting the weight back on. It doesn't do you any good, right? So the tools that I teach are sustainable. They're for a lifestyle. They're for a lifetime. 
If you're interested in learning more, send me a message. You can hit it in the, uh, the box below. You can DM me, depending on where you're seeing this, um, this video. You can email me at Doreen at recoveryenthusiast.com. You can go to my website at recoveryenthusiast.com and send me a message there. Um, and yeah, we, we'll work together and I'll, I'll help you see if we're a good fit and go from there. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you remember to let the people that you love know that you love them. I love my daughter so much and if she's watching this, I love you so much, you know that, right? Um, I'm a work in progress just like you are, honey. Just like we all are. Remember to let the people that you love know that you love them. Send them that text, give them that call, give them a great big hug every chance you get. Uh, live your life enthusiastically and follow me on Facebook and Instagram under Recovery Enthusiast. Check out my website. I got some free content on there, recoveryenthusiast.com. And I think that's it. All right, guys. Oh, if you like this video, hit, and if you're hitting it on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. See all my videos when they come out. All right, until next time, guys. Stay blessed. Peace.